It's been through a couple of updates over the journey, but this is essentially the same Holden Captiva SUV that was launched in Australia nearly 10 years ago. Now, turning 10 is a big deal for human beings, but it's not such great news for cars. Engineering, design and technology moves on rapidly, and at some point a car company has to renew if it's going to keep buyers interested. Until then, it's a case of sharpening the pencil and offering the best deals you can. Such is the case with the latest facelift of the Korean-built Captiva, which Holden has now had on the market for a couple of months. This is the flagship of the range, the Captiva LTZ. For $41,490 plus on roads, you get a seven-seat mid-sized SUV with a 2.4-litre turbo diesel engine, six-speed automatic transmission, and all-wheel drive. There are some niceties here, leather trim, a sunroof, and even Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Safety gear includes six airbags, a five-star ANCAP rating, and rear cross-traffic alert. But curtain airbags do not stretch all the way to the kids only third row. That's the sort of thing I mean by aging technology. It's the sort of issue that can only be fixed by a new generation platform. And the same applies to issues like the limited second row legroom, cheap dashboard plastics, and a pretty agricultural diesel engine that goes hard but lets you know about it. The stiff legged ride on 19 inch wheels and a near 12 metre turning circle isn't great either. But you know what? Money talks and Holden is still selling plenty of Captivas. If you're interested though, be aware. It's old tech transport and nothing more.